When I was 14, I attended Bronx High School of Science, and, and which was a great experience. I graduated with honors and enrolled at SUNY Binghamton. After five eventful years, I received my BA in liberal arts, and, and in my last year, I concentrated on studio and contemporary art. I had big plans to come to New York City and make a big splash as a professional artist. But the road quickly became hard. Working full-time in an office job, as well as working on a full-time art career, was emotionally draining. With the stresses of a full life, I felt myself slipping. Within 12 months, I suffered a severe psychological breakdown. I proceeded to lose my house, friends, and career. It was a tumultuous time. I landed in the hospital in early 1987 and was diagnosed with manic depression or bipolar mental illness, the same as my father. During the next part of my life, many of the years were horrendous, in and out of mental hospitals and psychiatric programs. I was angry, despondent, and rebellious. I refused to take medication. How could I have mental illness? My first psychiatrist said that with my attitude, I would bounce around the system. And until recently, I did. Then three years ago, three years ago, I still was confused and lacked focus. But I knew I wanted a more enriching life. Fortunately, I heard that there was a program called The Bridge. Upon acquiring amongst people I knew, The Bridge seemed to have a lot of street credibility, a place that offered enrichment and warmth. On another level, I didn't really have the money to go back to school or study on my own. Living on a social security check month to month isn't easy, and saving money is nearly impossible. After inquiring, I found that the bridge offered some of the same things a school would, programs with purpose and structure. A little while, a little while later, I met my case manager, Janet Vinanka. Janet was very warm and accepting. She made me feel comfortable and at ease. She helped me set up a varied and personalized program. It included art therapy, uh, mythology, poetry, current events, and diabetic issues. It was very exciting to begin, especially the art program. Since I was a kid, I had been an artist. Art means a lot to me, and I wanted to pursue it as a career. But you can imagine what it had been like trying to be a professional artist without studio space or a knowledgeable teacher. Up to then, I could not find the resources I needed in or out of the mental health community. Then I met bridge art therapist and fine artist Judy Rosenthal, a strong, sensitive, and caring woman. Judy had started a group called the Bridge Group Artists many years ago. The group is dedicated to the development of artists' creative abilities and emotional exploration. I was excited to join the group, becoming involved in something larger than myself. I explained how I wanted to shed light on my own complexities and explore new ways of expressing them through art. I had felt stunted in an old style I could not discard. For years, I had worked on tropical, surreal landscapes. Judy appreciated my old style, my old work, but could see in how much I wanted to work on something new. After working for several months with The Bridge, I learned that there was a new program I could get involved with. Several years ago, The Bridge Group Artists and the Museum of Modern Art formed a partnership that includes beautiful exhibitions of our work at the museum's gallery. Our educators, Carrie McGee and Gordon Sasaki, are tremendous. Together, we did critiques and learned about art at a world-renowned museum. We analyzed their standing body of work as well as our own production. I began to feel more confident and engaged in my work. Personally, my first experience at MoMA was the self-portrait. I was very excited, and this new genre of studying gave me a healthier view of my personality. I did not have to be beautiful. I could be myself, and it was OK. I appreciated myself for my internal beauty as well as my external traits. I felt stronger and more independent. The class saw my self-portrait and their outpouring of support gave me more confidence to explore. Now, I'm delving into my imagination, finding new and different ways to peer into the human psyche and understand my dreams. 
I will look at my subconscious and portray visions of what I have seen and felt. This will give me a deeper appreciation of what is unique about me. We also go on monthly excursions to a major Chelsea gallery, the Lowen Gadol Gallery, to discuss the latest openings. The gallery experience has given me invaluable exposure to the art world. For example, intense discussions with Ro Lowen opened my eyes to disturbing and brave art. This, this showed me ways to get beyond feeling mentally ill. In conclusion, the bridge partnership with MoMA and the Lowen Gadol Gallery has given me a new sense of self. It has led an attack on the artificial limits set up by mental illness. Sometimes it feels like society puts me in a box, restricting me with labels and low expectations. Luckily, finding art at the bridge has given me a way out. Not only has this collaboration given me the physical space and freedom to do many forms of art, but has enabled me to redefine myself as a human being. Thank you very much. <laughs>